All right, Brian, thank you. Well, it's been two days since two teen boys died after they were electrocuted while trying to save a dog from a canal in Dixon. Now officials are trying to figure out why it happened. Night beats Chris Nairs on the emergency meeting held earlier this evening. Kristen? Tonight, the Solano Irrigation District held a special meeting behind closed doors to talk about the electrocution deaths of two teens on their property. I asked the board president point blank, is the district to blame? Uh, I'd like to start out this meeting a uh, moment of uh, silence for uh, the young men who lost their lives. An emotional moment at the start of tonight's meeting of the Solano Irrigation District Board before the board closed the meeting to the public to discuss the deaths of two teenage boys, Jake Horsmoses and Jacob Schneider. The boys were killed Monday on district property when they touched an electrified metal bridge while trying to rescue a dog in the canal. It's tragic tragic accident. The board president has been tight-lipped since the accident, and when we stopped him at the door... We spoke to one of the mothers today who said the district is at fault. What do you say to that? I, I can't say anything at this time. No response? I wouldn't be responding either if I was at fault. Candy Carrillo is Jake's mother. She says the district must be held accountable. Literally, you just killed two teenage boys because you failed your responsibility and you showed neglect. All district officials will say is that an investigation is underway. Tonight, district spokesperson Janet Zimmerman initially refused to speak to us with our cameras rolling. I'm not going to do it on camera. This is a public meeting, though, and you're it an is. official who's speaking for a public body. Why wouldn't you speak on camera? When pressed, she relented. Do you know when the last time an inspection there was done? I don't, and that's part of the information that's being collected as part of the investigation for the sheriff's department. She could not answer questions about how often the canal and its bridges are maintained or why the bridge was electrified. We have signs at public entry points to the canal. Are there any on the bridge or near the bridge warning people to stay away? Um, I'm not sure about that. Leaving the community with far more questions than answers. Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat. A spokesperson says the district will eventually have answers to those questions. They are in the process of collecting documentation as part of the Sheriff's Department investigation.